Hello, goddess, and welcome. I am Rochelle Richard, and I guide you into and through finding your power in every moment all along this twin flame self-love empowerment journey. And holy fuck balls. <laughs> this journey, this, this, this this twin flame journey. I, I thought the self-love empowerment journey was an adventure, but oh damn, <laughs> you just got up leveled with a twin flame dynamic. Poof. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, ah, uh, there's just so much, there's just so much goddess. And I'm, at the same time, pushing through my own blocks, my own visibility blocks. I'm owning my shit, right? My own visibility blocks of really putting myself out there and trusting that I really truly know what the fuck I'm talking about from personal experience. This isn't me having read self-help books and, and now I'm trying to teach you. This is me having lived the life that I've lived and had to literally learn firsthand what it's like to experience feeling so disempowered and reclaiming my power. And a twin flame journey is definitely that next fucking level of a self-love empowerment journey for sure because a, a twin flame journey really is a self-love empowerment journey. And as I sit here before you today, I was in a space of going... Oh my God, I like, I want to talk to somebody, but I, I, don't, I don't know what I would say and I don't know who I want to talk to. And so, you know what? I'm just going to make a video and I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk to my goddesses, my fellow twin flame goddesses, right? Who can relate. So right now, I guess you could say this is a twin flame vlog. This is part of where I am in my journey with my twin flame and even in the last couple weeks, I have found myself in a space of doubt of going, have I been wrong that he's my twin flame? But twin flame doubt is definitely a major, major, major facet of the twin flame journey because doubt is a massive freaking facet of this human experience, period. Because that's our ego going, well, but, but... Are you sure? Like, I don't think so. Like, okay. And really behind that voice of going, I don't think so. Um, are you sure about that? I don't think, yeah. Is the, um, oh my God, that's out of the comfort zone of what is familiar. So like, we're just gonna say no. Like, we're gonna do everything we can to sabotage it. And that's what sabotage is, goddess. That's what this is. And this is this is why we're in this journey, this twin flame journey that is a self-love empowerment journey. Because first and foremost, we have got to be anchored into each our own truth, each our own knowing, each our own fucking power. Because only I know my journey, only you know your journey. But what I do know is how to support you in anchoring into your journey and your power so you can rise and thrive in your human university education experience that you're here for, that you're here in. Because for me, when I was first made aware I was a twin flame, I was like, well, wait a minute, I wasn't even believing in that. <sighs> But that was, again, sabotage, that space of wanting to keep myself in this comfort zone, which is that men are bad, men are evil, uh, men only use me, men don't have feelings, uh, no one could ever just love you, Rochelle, you know. And he mirrored every bit of that back to me and very much how he feels about him, his own self. In fact... Just last week, which was uh, the call that really, there was so much triggering in that phone call last week. So much so that I, it, it was like um, someone poked, like you have a, a sore, an owie, like an actual wound, 
and someone takes their finger or I don't know, whatever the fuck, and just pokes into your, and then he, that's exactly what happened last week. Like to the point where I almost started crying during our call because of what he triggered, which that trigger was only to show me, oh, you need to fix this. You, you got some cleanup, clean up aisle three. Okay. So that's what a trigger is. It's like, oh, someone, someone spilled something over here. There, you better go clean that shit up. Um, before you have a slip and fall and you completely sabotage your entire freaking life. No, for real though. That's how it can feel, right? <laughs> that's what we do. And he was so deep in sabotage against me. He even said recently that I, I represent everything that he wants in life. I am connected to all that he wants. Yet, oof, does he sabotage letting himself have it. And I just have done the same. I, I, I yeah. So who knows after today if he and I are still going to be connected. And here's why I'm in the place of going... And so what? I mean, I want to cry on one hand, but on the other, the key is here, goddess, is if he is not willing to do the work on himself and just is, is perfectly content to stay in that subconscious patterning instead of talking it through and going, okay, how can we shift this? What can we do to heal this? So we start getting different results. Then you have to recognize that pattern in yourself, right? And in this connection that you are allowing something to continue that you have the power to change. And it sucks when that, when that solution is to just be like, I, I got to go. Because dear goddess, I'm going to tell you something you, you're not going to like to hear probably. I know I still don't like hearing it. Because we've all been taught that, oh, romance and love and Hallmark movie and Lifetime movie and, oh, Jerry Maguire, you complete me. You know, all this crap of what the illusion of love is instead of what love truly is. And love certainly is not a fucking Hallmark movie, okay? Okay. The Twin Flame journey is not a Hallmark movie, goddess. It is not this wild and passionate and it's going to be just so amazing and so perfect. And, and I keep see oh my gosh, I keep seeing this lie that's being perpetrated in the Twin Flame community that, that if you think you've met your twin and it's just filled with challenges and obstacles, then it's not. It's supposed to be easy and smooth sailing and the universe supports you every step of the way. And I'm going, I know, no, and uh, no. The twin flame connection is the most intense, the most challenging of them all because Everything we are rising through, we are ascending into union. And if we, if it's just easy peasy, then what the fuck is all this, this for? If we're not actually here to do work, to learn, grow, expand, and ascend, if it's just easy peasy, in fact, let me ask this way. What would be the point if you literally already knew the outcome? What would be the point? 
If you already knew the outcome of any decision you make, of any path you take, you already knew exactly how it was going to go. After probably not very long, you would get kind of tired of that, wouldn't you? I know I would. Because, well, in my soul space, (laughs) the whole point of this is the adventure, is the learning, is the experience we get to have here. So we can learn, grow, expand, and ascend. And your twin, your counterpart, is your greatest fucking teacher. Because they show you everything that you think you can hide from in you. And that means your deepest, darkest recesses, your deepest, darkest shadows are going to be mirrored in your twin. But at the same time, your most beautiful amazing, wonderful, divine attributes will also be mirrored in them. And in this moment as that's coming through, I realize that I have been way too focused on the shadow aspect in this mirror tool. Because that's what the Twin Flame Mirror is. It's this beautiful, wonderful empowerment tool that if used in its proper context, oh my God, Can you achieve so much healing, so much reclaiming your power in your self-love empowerment journey? That is what a twin flame journey is, is your self-love empowerment journey. And as you reclaim your power through learning to love that which is yourself, you ascend, you rise, your vibration rises, you, you rise and thrive into your power. And that is what truly aligns you with union. But if you are not being being trained, becoming practiced at, at reclaiming your power, at rising, at ascending, then what is the fucking point? There is none. So whoever wants to tell you, then that's a soulmate connection. I have spoken with, uh, I have an Akashic reader friend. She's been doing this for years. She hosts light language ceremonies and such. I, I met her in Sedona. And she taught me way back when, and I, because I was like, what? And I told her, I was like, oh my God. So apparently I, I've met my twin flame and I didn't even believe in them. And holy crap, is this it's so freaking excruciating and so intense. And she was like, uh uh-uh, uh, I know all about them twin flame things. And uh, no, I'm manifesting a soulmate. <laughs> I want easy peasy, smooth sailing. Because a soulmate, that's what that is. You, you are truly, truly just. You just, you just click, you just blend like that. It's a very easy relationship. Karmic partners, whoo, they're like, oh, I'm here to specifically point out that trigger right there, that, that right there. I, I'm here to help you see this and learn this lesson. Beep, 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 yo, hey, hey. And a karmic will leave a wake of destruction in its path, like a fucking F5 tornado. And that is exactly what happened with my twin, with my counterpart. Oh my God, this karmic. Oh my God. Like, I think she put like spells on him or something. I mean, they never even met in person, but let him tell it. You know, it, it, he's just, yeah. And apparently she told him what love was. And I'm thinking... She is 23 years old, 24, and she told you what love was. Okay. Good for you. And where is she now? (laughs) Where is she now? Right? (sighs) Sending love. (laughs) I'm like in this moment, I'm like, (sighs) sending love. To both of them. Because in the end, what this twin flame journey really, again, is ultimately about is about you, boo. It's all about you. Which means for me, it's all about mine. It's all about me. And what my mission is, what my purpose is here. I had no idea what was going to come to pass. Accepting his friend request. September 20th, 2018. I have no idea. (laughs) 
Especially, again, since I didn't even believe in Twin Flames when I met him. But I was, I was open this much to it because the connection was so unique. The, the energetic influence that I have. And I realized that, yeah, that's no wonder that's what's being mirrored. Holy moly. Dang it. <laughs> and right now, like I said, in this moment, I'm like, ah. but at the same time, it's going, okay, well, I'm not giving him credit for doing any work on himself. Yet, we were even starting to talk about all of this and do this work. And then his sabotage kicked in big time. Because he was, he was, he was tiptoeing outside the comfort zone of what he knows. And whenever we do that, that's when that sabotage ramps up its energy, its mission to destroy you unintentionally of course your 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 ego doesn't want to destroy you it believes it's protecting you because when we subconsciously get angry blow up at someone blame someone any of those things those are all that's all repellent energy and we're pointing the finger at them when in truth it's something in us that we've got to heal that we've got to look at and we've got to allow ourselves to feel deeper than the surface shit because I assure you sister it really is not about your twin it's not it's about the shit you got within man this has been a great chat <laughs> I, I really just wanted to come on and and I guess again it started as kind of like a vlog but you know I am one of those people where I just need to talk it out I just need to talk it out and give myself hold that space for my own self so this is one of the ways that i i love to do it so be sure to like and subscribe like this video subscribe to my channel there will be more and more and more to come and what i'm most passionate about goddess is reclaiming motherfucking power to rise and thrive in my life and to guide goddesses just like you to do the same in yours, no matter what the fuck <sighs> Mr. Masculine's doing over there. That it's like, all right, fine. You do you, I'm gonna do me. And we'll just see what happens. Because in the end, it is still your journey. And when you can just trust that you and your twin are always connected, it might be years. We don't know. And this is what trusting divine timing is all about, is to let go of trying to control. And to just finally say, hey, okay. I mean, I think I really truly feel where I am now is it's like, okay, I could really let you go now. You, you wanna push me away? You want me to go? I'll go, I'll go. And then you could add me to the list of all the others who've just abandoned you. That's fine. But remember, you pushed me away. And so we have to remind ourselves of this, goddess. We always have to be mindful, aware, and thus mindful of the role that we are having in our experience. What is the energy you're putting out towards your twin? What is the energy you're putting out towards anything? Do, you, do your thoughts and beliefs align with what you desire to be experiencing? Oh, I say that and I'm sitting there going, yeah, I got some nasty buggers. I got some nasty buggers that very much do not align with union with my twin, which means, you know, separation within, which is why it's important to note that this twin flame separation phase is so important. It is. Because this is the time specifically set that we agreed to before we incarnated. That this would be my time, this would be his time. So this is your time, goddess. In the end, only you can live your life anyway. So 
So it's about fucking time that you rise and thrive and live your fucking life. So that's it. That's where we are. That's where I am. I'm just like, you know, does it mean there's not going to probably be some purging, some tears, some processing? Of course. But the only way to heal it is to feel it. So cry your tears. Then dry those eyes and stand the fuck up in your power, goddess, because it is time to rise and thrive in this glorious new earth. And I am here to support you in this journey. Reach out to me. You can definitely, oh, definitely book your own intuitive clarity coaching session down below through the link. That's at empowermentexperiences.com. And yeah, that link is down below. That said, you can also find me on Instagram uh, at Healing Twin Flames. I am on, I believe, Pinterest is Healing Twin Flames. Twitter is at Rising Rochelle because you only had, I had less space than I did on all the other platforms. Um, and TikTok, Healing Twin Flames. Um, so yeah, I'm in a variety of places. You can find them all. Also at my links to empowerment page that I'm gonna link down below. So everything's down below. Uh, linked, connected, joined, because we're connected to goddess, just like we are. Well, maybe not to the same degree as uh, as our twin, but we are definitely all connected. We're all connected. Law of one. So you do the work on you. You're doing the work on him too. It's time to take that responsibility, reclaim that power, and do this. And that's what I'm about to go do myself and see yeah that said dear goddess i will see you in the next video go create amazing because the power is in your hands because it's always been inside you namaste <laughs>